Hi everyone, just thought I'd do a quick video on uh, the uh, weapon shafts on Gabriel. First and foremost, we'll go over to uh, the weapon shaft that was used with uh, Aftershock. This is the one that uh, Killer Lock cut. And as you can see here, this is the... Uh, if I sort of put the two together, you can see we're just basically snipped right through it with a hydraulic... Uh, uh, cutter. Not really surprising he did it because uh, I mean the plastic is not really very strong in that kind of uh, in that kind of a uh, um, format. But uh, there you go. That was the one there. Now slightly more interesting is the carbide fight. Uh, if I actually sort of move these away and sort of go down to a sort of an angle, you can actually see here where sort of literally uh, a rack of teeth were cut into the shaft. This was actually done by uh, Big Nipper. You can tell by the paint. You can sort of see the slight red colour there and the yellow on this one. It wasn't carbide, this was actually Big Nipper cut that up. What, what carbide did on the weapons was, you can sort of see here, this is actually the star, star mace that we actually have. Give you an idea of the size, uh, that bolt there is actually 30 millimetres. If I can get the Run the right way there, you can sort of see it's a 30 millimeter diameter stud bar. Uh, these plates are 12 millimeter hardox each, and as you can see on this one, Carbide actually managed to completely tear the tooth off. Um, he also managed to bend bend the uh, spindle quite significantly. You can sort of see there. I mean that was completely bent, but he's also managed to uh, rip out the captive nut that was welded in the end here. So you can sort of see that's actually uh, been uh, dislodged. And to give you an idea of the scale, this is actually a fairly large bolt. It's a 12 millimeter bolt, which is considered quite large for um, for uh, this particular thing. So I mean, 30 millimeters is a this, is, this thing weighs more than a sledgehammer head. This thing is actually very heavy, and um, Ah, it actually it actually was quite effective, although it didn't seem to transfer very well to the telly. Uh, one of the questions I get asked quite often is that uh, why do you use the um, the plastic for weapon shafts and you don't actually have them completely steel? The main reason is that uh, in a combat, uh, major damage notwithstanding, um, a steel shaft would just break or bend and not actually straighten itself up up again. And I think some people have the idea that this, this particular material is incredibly bendy. And it actually isn't as bendy as perhaps you would think. So I've sort of uh, arranged a demonstration. Uh, here you have, uh, this is a, a 14 pound sledgehammer uh, that I use for the live events, just as just sort of a friendly little weapon really. And um, uh, what I'm going to do is stand on it to give you an idea, it supported this end with uh, a piece of wood, and at that end, of course, it's got the uh, the flange attachment. And so, if I put the this down, hopefully, you'll be able to see there's a gap, a gap underneath here, of a, you know, a few centimeters. Now, to give you an idea, I'm going to actually stand, risk life and limb here, stand on the thing. Now, I weigh about 80 kilos, just under 80 kilos. And if I bounce up and down on the thing, which I am doing now, you can, oh, that's it. You can see that it does flex, but not by that much. When you actually see videos of uh, the this shaft um, actually sort of bending at 90 degrees, hopefully then you'll have some understanding of the forces that are being applied to it. It's actually um, worked out as a very, very good way of actually uh, um, surviving spinners. Um, a lot of people said, well, why don't you put the sword or an axe, you know, the big, the, the sort of the, uh, the usual Gabriel sword on when you were fighting carbide. And the answer is it would have lasted about a minute. And then after that, it would have been uh, bent, bent so far out of shape as to be useless. Believe it or not, plastic quite often is more durable than steel. Well, I hope you found this interesting. Thanks and bye now.